Hey everyone, um, so in this video I'm going to show how I make a simple sticker sheet. It was a request that I got, but um, there's so many different ways you can make a sticker sheet. And I make most of mine for planners, so I'm not really sure if that's what the person wanted to see. So I'm going to start off with something simple like this um, Halloween uh, sticker sheet. It's really cute. I made it for a giveaway for my Facebook and Instagram. And... It's basic, so this can be taken and, you know, done with even more so with other things. So it's just to start off with. So you just want to open up your Silhouette Studio. And I'm sorry if there, if there will be weird pauses, but I'm doing this as an, a later voiceover. So um, just go up to your right to your page setup and make sure your registration marks are on. And the length and thickness, you know, I just leave it. I make sure it's like at the low and the inset. I just make sure it's at the very, very bottom, 394. I do all my stickers, all my sticker sheets that way. So, and just make sure that your page setup is the way it should be. This is a portrait three, so mine is an eight by 12. So everything is usually just the way it's supposed to be. So just double check yours when you do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, you'll want to have thought about this before you start, what kind of sticker sheet you want to make. So in that way you can get all your images together. And once you have all that, then you're just going to start drag and drop all of the little clip art images you want to use for your sticker sheet. They'll be pretty big when you drag them in. So, you know, and it'll take a little bit of time to do it. Kind of drag. You'll you'll have to zoom in and out quite a bit. If you got quite a few um, images, you'll have to zoom in and out a little bit. But it is what it is. And where I got these images, I mean, there's Etsy is mostly where I get most of my clip art images to use for all my sticker um, sheets and planner accessories. And I get a lot from Creative Fabrica backgrounds and clip art and it's, it just depends on your budget and your needs so you you can check those out i also got my logo here because i'm going to be putting that at the very top of the sticker sheet once you got all your little images in there you're gonna select them all to make sure you take off that red cut line because you don't want all of those little lines cut because it will and then you're just going to downsize everything so that you can zoom back in Take off the red cut line from the logo. Downsize so that you can zoom in. It's a lot of zooming in and out with Silhouette. And then now we're gonna do the actual shape of our sticker sheet. This all depends on what you want. You can do it small, big, I like to usually do most of my sticker sheets in like a rounded edge. And I'm going to do mine, this particular one, in 3.5 by 4.5. You just do those measurements real quickly in the transformation tool on the right. And then we're going to do an offset around this because that is what you're going to put your background image into, not the actual rectangle shape here. Because if you do that, then when it goes to cut, there'll be, there's a chance that there could be white lines that show up. So you want to have an offset and put your background image into that so that when it does cut, it'll cut on top of the background and have a nice clean look. So you go to your offset tool. I mostly do everything in a 0 0.040, but for these um, outlines, you can go quite small. And just remember when you're zoomed in and out, the number of your offset will be different because the closer you are, it's it's just, I don't know, it, it's just the way it is. So as you zoom in and you can go and um, open up where you have the your chosen background and you're going to drag and drop that into the outer 
offset that you just put. If you put it into the other one, then you'll th there was no point to even do this. See how it, it'll go in either one? You want to make sure it's on the outer one so that your cut line will cut on top of that. And I'm going to change the cut line here because I can't see it. They're both purple. So I'm going to change it to a lighter color yellow. Zoom out. And then I'm going to uh, group so that if I move it around, you know, um, they won't come apart. I can move around together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my little logo on top. Um, for this, I added um, like a little rectangle around it so that you know it wouldn't it would show up real nicely. If I just put it on top of that grid background, it would look kind of funky, and it wouldn't do very well at all. So I added I'm gonna add like um, a rectangle shape around it and fill it with white. It makes looks nice. And just make sure that um, the cut lines on your logo, if you're going to put a logo, are off. And if you're going to put a shape around it, make sure that that cut line is off as well. Because you don't want that cut. You want to make sure that that's just something that's on top of the background. Click on it and go over to your fill tool and just choose whatever color you want. Cut, put the cut line off, and group them together, and then you can just add it to your back, your little sticker sheet. And I'll be downsizing it to make it fit better. If you ever have this issue where you click on something and it won't move, just go up to the top to the um to the arrange and bring it to the front. That solves the issue. I don't know why that happens. It just does happens a lot. And you just want to click on all of them, center them. And then now it's basically just putting all your little images onto your sheet, arranging them the way you want making them smaller, making them bigger, turning them around to fit uh, perfectly on your sheet. This is what takes quite a, um, the most of the time of making your sheet. I really don't, in my shop, I really don't do too many of these. I mean, I have plans to, it's just one of those things I haven't really gotten around to, so cute sticker sheets like this I usually just do for giveaways and um, most of the sticker sheets I do are for planners because I use them myself so I use an EC um, planner for right now so most of my sticker sheets are for that but um, I've had lots of people that use other planners buy my sticker sheets and they work out okay but if y'all want me to do um, a video on how I do those planner sticker sheets, just let me know and then I know for sure that that's what somebody wants to see because I wasn't really sure if that's what y'all wanted to see or if y'all just wanted to see how I set up any sticker sheet. So that's why I chose this one because it's simple and it's really cute. I like it. I mean, I love Halloween. A lot of people do. I just arranging everything to make it fit to duplicate like I wanted to put several of the candy corns on the page so to duplicate you just um, go over to the little spiky re re replicate tool and you just It'll duplicate it however many times you want. And then to um, those candy corns, they're all kind of big. And the way you can downsize them is together. It's just shift 
and click on all of them together and then just drag drag them together so that they're all the same size and you can do that with anything just arrange them however you want I just remember when you are downsizing or upsizing, don't ever drag from the side points or or the top points, the, the top and the bottom points, always drag from the corners because you will distort your image and then it'll just look terrible once it gets printed out. And it'll look terrible when you're showing it in digital form if you do. And these are really cute. I love these little sticker sheets. You could do just so many of them. And you don't even have to charge very much for them either because you can get a couple of them on a sheet. It all depends. I charge for my sticker sheets. It all depends on the size of the sticker sheet. If I'm able to get quite a, like several, then I can charge obviously less. But if I can only get one, of my sticker sheets onto one of the sheets, the sticker sheets themselves, then I have to obviously charge more. So you want to take that into consideration too, if you're going to be selling what you're going to be making. If you're just making this for yourself or for friends, and it really doesn't matter. So now that you got all that arranged, you're going to, I like to work in the gray, just easier to see going to select all your little stickers there and you're going to do an offset and like I said before I always usually do a zero for four zero and then um you're going to fill that you, you they're already also oh that's right you need to make sure that you zoom in and you take off all the little bitty cut the little cuts that you don't want to be cut otherwise it'll make your stickers look really really bad with all those little bitty cuts so you want to take all those out so you just go over to the left and click the little points tool thing and then you click on each of the offsets that have those little red marks and just take them out with the backspace so once you got got all of them looking the way you want you're just going to select shift and select each and every offset outline because we're going to fill it um i chose white because there's white on the grid you can do it in whatever color you want or you don't have to do it it's all up to you it's this is all creative freedom you do whatever you want so once you got all that filled with white and you're going to make sure that all the cut lines are on for all of those offsets. Once you do that, then you're just gonna select, you're gonna group each and every single set of stickers with their offset outlines. And you just try not to move anything because you already set where you wanted all of them to be on your sticker sheet. Then you select all of them together because we're gonna do another offset and why? Because, like I said, for the sticker sheet itself, when you have your sticker outline for the cut, you want it to cut on whatever color is surrounding your sticker. Because if you don't, you have you run the risk of your your little sticker showing other colors. Like my my sticker would show that purple grid. That's not what I want. So I'm doing an offset of zero point four point zero four. And then I filled it and I made sure all the cut lines were off for the outer one. Make sure those cut lines are off for the outer one. And then you group each and every one of them together like before. And you can see how each one has a red cut line in the middle of the white. That's exactly what you want. So can put your sticker sheet back underneath if it goes on top just go up to the object and pick arrange and go send to back and you just 
place your sticker sheet right behind your stickers where, where you had them arranged. And you can move them around if you need to. You just ungroup and you can just move them around to fit better because adding the two offsets will make them a little bit bigger. And if you have to, you can make them smaller. There's a smaller one. And don't, please don't be afraid to have a lot of stickers on your sheet. I've heard so many times that customers, they get upset because they, they're they buying these sticker sheets off Etsy or wherever, and they're paying 4 and $5 for a little sheet that has only four or five stickers. They, customers really don't like that. And trust me, they've complained a lot to me because they go to my shop or similar shops and they see that I cram my sticker sheets with everything that I can fit on it that it needs to be on that particular sticker sheet. And, and they love it. So, you know, learn how to zoom in, learn how to get, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing to like get your stickers close together just as long is they're not super close and those cut lines are going to mess up your stickers and make them look nasty. But you can put a lot of stickers on a sheet. Trust me. For this one, I just didn't put as many because I'm trying to just keep it simple so that anyone watching can learn how to do this without so much stuff going on. So once you got all of your stickers arranged, I'm just going to make this little logo a little bit smaller. Move things around a little bit more. And once you got it all the way you want, just group it all together. And then zoom out and you're going to place your sticker sheet on your mat. And just remember... Do not touch those those registration marks. That's the little boxes and those are the little grid sort of like marks on the corners there. Do not let your sticker sheet touch those because your registration will fail and you'll have printed, you'll have wasted a sheet because you won't be able to use it. You'll have to cut it out yourself and then what are you going to do? You're going to have all these, how are you going to cut those stickers out once they're on top of that page? Yeah. So. And however many you can fit on the sheet depends on the size of your, your sticker sheet. So as you can see, this 3.5 by 4.5, they all, they're four fit on here. So that's pretty good. And you just make sure, I'd like to zoom in, make sure nothing is touching. And you don't want to touch that outer red line that you see around the entire sheet. That's like... Don't don't let anything touch that either. So once you got all that arranged, you would be ready to print. And then you can cut after that. So you got four on here for this size. Let's say you wanted to do smaller and get more sticker sheets on there, then you can just downsize it and you just replicate and add more. But if you're gonna do smaller, Take the time to go back and look at the cut lines on your stickers because when you start downsizing, things start getting closer together. And you want to make sure that those cut lines are still in a good amount of white or whatever color you're going to choose. So take the time to just go back and check to make sure it still looks good. So if you go smaller, you can fit a lot more, obviously. And on those empty spots, I like to make freebies for my shop. Just so, you, just so you know, that's a good way to like not waste paper and to have things that customers like. They love freebies. So I use those extra spots for freebies. And if you want to go bigger, you can go bigger. You'll just have less sticker sheets, but you'll have bigger stickers and you'll charge more for your stickers, obviously, because they're bigger. So I hope that helped. If there's a different kind of sticker sheet y'all are interested in making or having me show you how to make how I make them. So let me know. Thanks for stopping by and I hope I was helpful.